Scorpio. This is Bella Dutch from All Sing Out Tarot. Here with the monthly love scope for January 2021. Happy New Year to all of my Scorpios out there. I hope you had a happy New Year and a Merry Christmas. Remember, it's a new year. It's up to you how this year is going to go. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? This month, I'm still running a contest. Whichever zodiac sign gets the most amount of views for the month of January, I'm going to choose two free winners of one hour. Your responsibility is to share the video across all your social media. Get as many people as you can to click on the video. Also, I need you to make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your notification bell is pressed. And in the comment section below this video, make sure you comment your uh, sun sign Scorpio as well as why you feel you deserve that one hour free reading. Let's go. Spirit of the Universe, what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Scorpio? Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of January 2021. Give me Scorpio. Scorpio. All right, first card out Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Ten of Cups, Under the Queen of Swords, Five of Wands. Under the Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Under the Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Under the Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles. Under the Five of Wands, Nine of Wands. Mm. Under the Three of Cups, Temperance. Under the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. And under the King of Pentacles, the Lovers. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck for my Scorpios for the month of January 2021, Ten of Wands. All right, so this is not a so happy reading. I'm just going to keep it real with you and get straight to the point. Scorpio, this reading is definitely for those of you that are dealing with a Libra or a Gemini, Sun sign or Rising sign. This relationship has been very difficult to you, very difficult, because it kind of seems like to me, looking at this reading, that you've been competing. Some of you are indirectly competing because you don't know if there's another person that's involved with your Libra partner. Chances are a good 75% of you are dealing with a Libra or Gemini that's dealing with someone else. Now, if you align with the symptoms that I'm about to give you right now. So Scorpio, if you've been dealing with a Libra or a Gemini, you've been in this relationship for a long time, maybe three or more years, it kind of seems to me that you've been fighting with this person, fighting with their time, trying to get them involved into this relationship. And I feel myself revisiting this because I've seen this before and it's coming up again. To keep fighting with this person, Scorpio, is pointless. It's pointless because it kind of seems to me that they met someone. Now, this person that this Libra or Gemini is invested in or going towards is a Capricorn or Taurus. Now, it's also possible that your Libra or Gemini has been spending a lot of time recently with their family, going to different family events, hooking up with their family, but there has not been an invite or you are not going with them. Maybe for some reason you don't really get along with the family. They don't really fuck with you too heavy. Okay. Uh, watch out for that. I'm going to say watch out for that because it kind of seems like the family of this Libra or Gemini is the one that stands in the middle of your relationship. And it seems like this family, one of these family members has hooked your Libra or Gemini up with a Capricorn or Taurus. Okay. Now, 
I don't know the zodiac sign of this family member. It could be anyone. But if I go by what's been going on for the whole entire year for Scorpio last year, I'm going to say that the family member is a fire sign. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay. Um, looking at the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Temperance, you're doing everything for the month of January that you can to show this person that you still love them. You're still invested. But while your works is going or being looked at in vain, they have been reiterating their self into a commitment, a stronger relationship with whoever this Capricorn Taurus is. See that Ace of Pentacles? Okay, that Ace of Pentacles is there because there's a brand new budding relationship that's going to get really difficult for you in these new coming months. And it would be very surprising if this person stays with you, Scorpio, in the new year. Because, like I said, um, for some reason, this Libra or Gemini hasn't been happy with you for a while. Something about this relationship, they just don't like. So don't waste your time, Scorpio, trying to revamp yourself, revive yourself, change your hair, do your makeup. I don't know, start taking Viagra, whatever the case may be, whatever you guys do out there to try to save your relationship. Because this re relationship is, you know, it, it's far from being worked out. It, it's over pretty much, okay? So you know how people may have been together for five years and they say for the last three years we've been breaking up? That's what it looks like to me. All right. We have the six of swords here and it kind of looks like this person is planning an escape from you, Scorpio. All right. So if you are involved with this Libra Gemini, it would be wise to start setting yourself up financially because this could come as a surprise in the year of 2021 for you, Scorpio. Um, some of you are already aware of it. And it, it even could have been maybe this Libra or Gemini has been threatening that they were going to leave your relationship. But I feel like um, definitely there's going to be some of you, not all of them are going to leave in January. I feel like moving into the new year, things are going to start to get more serious between your Libra Gemini with this Capricorn Taurus. Especially knowing that they have a new vertex that's coming up right around the um, end of spring into the summer months. Okay, Now, um, listen to me and listen closely. This can be anywhere from starting a family with this new Capricorn Taurus uh, to actually going into a proposal. But it kind of seems to me that it's kind of meant to be. And when things are meant to be, you need to just back away. You know, because it would be then you're getting in the middle of God's business. Like this is what spirit wants for this Libra Gemini is to go towards this Capricorn Taurus. There's purpose there. That's their karmic soulmate, their actual soulmate, life partner, twin flame, etc. OK, so another thing I'm going to tell you is that this is not a new person. This is a reunion between this Capricorn Taurus and Libra Gemini. So this is not, you know, some random brand new relationship that has just come about. Now, if you're single Scorpio, you may be a single Scorpio and you're not dating a Libra or a Gemini. I'm going to tell you to steer clear of Libra or Gemini in these next coming months. OK, these next three months, at least steer very clear of Libra or Gemini because a lot of them got unfinished business with a Capricorn Taurus. Now, some of you, the way this could also go for those of you that are single, uh, you may be trying to start a new relationship or just asking me, Bella, is there anyone new coming? Coming in for 2021, I'm going to say yes. The new person that I see coming in for a lot of you Scorpios is Capricorn Taurus. As well as it doesn't have to be a Capricorn or Taurus. It could just be somebody that you work with. I've been telling Scorpio for the last couple months to pay attention to somebody at the workplace that may be going out of their way to make your holiday special or just saying they thought about you, you know, buying you little gifts. It may come off as very little at first because they're just trying to get to know you and see what you're involved with. Okay. Now, I'm also going to say for my Scorpios, um, 
when it comes to Libra and Gemini, if this is someone from your past, it's even possible that this person may try to come back and get into your good graces. But the attitudes and the reason as to why you left this Libra or Gemini Scorpio is not going to change. So it's still going to be there. Okay, it is still going to be there. Some of you in the very beginning months of this January, you know, January the 2021 year, you're going to be uh, revisited by a Libra or Gemini individual. But as I stated to you, there's really not too much purpose with the two of you being together. And it could even be that there is uh, some some inner workings that's actually going down with your ex Libra Gemini and a Capricorn Taurus. Okay. Now for those of you that got a new relationship going, Bella, I just start talking to this guy. I start talking to this woman. I want to see where it's going. They're a Capricorn Taurus. I'm going to say yes. If they're Capricorn or Taurus, absolutely go towards it. Okay. Cause this can signify new love. The only problem I feel that Scorpio may run into single Scorpio is that Maybe you're in a situation that you need to end, okay, with a Libra or Gemini, or this Capricorn Taurus is in a situation that they need to leave with a Libra or Gemini, all right? But as long as you stick towards the earth, go towards Capricorn Taurus, Gemini, um, Gemini, not Gemini, I'm sorry. As long as you go towards Capricorn Taurus, Scorpio, or if it is a Gemini, it could be a Gemini and, and you work with this person. Work affairs are very likely right now for Scorpio. Someone that you work with, someone that you didn't give much thought to, and you probably didn't get much thought to them because you got to end something first. The lover's card is about a choice. So this would be about it's time to let go of something that you're beating in vain. So if you know Scorpio, You've been involved with a Libra or Gemini. You've done everything. I mean, I tried everything to get this person to love me. And you're, you're, you know, you're running into a brick wall. Stop it. It's time for it to go out of your life. Okay? Go out of your life. I don't think you'll be single for very long. If you do this now, then when this Capricorn Taurus come in, you got a clean slate. And you can go towards this person and live happily ever after. You may not even know, Scorpio, that with this Capricorn Taurus, that you actually got a promising future. These are cards of promise, okay? Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. These are cards of promise. Eight, there's an Eight of Pentacles over here, too. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. You don't know right now. And you know what? You might not even be attracted too much to this Capricorn Taurus, especially if you work with them. You might look at them like, uh, oh, it's not really my type. Even though they're really nice to me at work, they may help you with your work. You know, just do nice things for you. I'm telling you, looks can be deceiving. If it is a Capricorn Taurus, give it a chance. You may find yourself happy again with a new family. Uh, those of you that want to get pregnant, you want more children, definitely Capricorn Taurus. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. You want a personal reading? All seeing out tarot at gmail.com. Under this video in the description box is the pricing for the month of January. When you hit me up, make sure in your subject line you put which reading you want. Flower on the wall, spiritual analysis, death analysis, whatever reading. Or even, a, um, what is it, a, a divine partnership, mini divine partnership. Because a divine partnership can be an hour or two. The mini divine partnership is the uh, 30 minutes. Okay, I'll see you again very soon. I thank you so much. Enjoy this month. I'll see you very soon, Scorpio.